if the camera needs more adjustments so this is working progress is going to change anyway thank you so much for joining in this one video i'm going to talk about a couple of mistakes that i generally made the mistakes that an introvert just like me can typically make because there are when we're selling something and generally when we're selling through webinars workshops or however that is and most more, more on the lines of when we're selling a one to one when we're selling a course when we're selling a workshop when we're selling something we, there are a couple of couple of common mistakes that we make and a couple of mistakes that i make like i genuinely make a couple of mistakes uh, like me specifically so those are the, those are the mistakes that i kind of thought about in last 10 minutes like i really need to be sharing you sharing these experiences with you not an experience but they're the mistakes that i made because when you are going out and selling i don't want you to do this repeat the same mistakes you do you test and try out different mistakes and let me know so that we can learn together and grow together so again this was the branch of the previous video that i did where i spoke about six ways to bring the most authentic self uh, while selling cool that we got six ways i spoke about so based on that okay when we spoke about the ways okay what are the mistakes that i also made so if you haven't watched that extremely important video and this is going to be an extremely extremely important video as well but thank you so much if you don't know me who this is fazal ahmad over here and if you know me welcome back so point number one we are going to talk about is going to be the mistake number one not point number one. mistake number one is not knowing the affordability status of your audience cool smaller example that i'm going to derive you with this with is going to be you are talking to a student who has no pocket money who generally gets typically small little amount of pocket money and your product is for say 5000 10000 rupees and if you go out and pitch the product what is going to happen they don't have money to buy they, they can barely make their living no the living they can barely survive the whole month with snacks and stuff like that with 500 rupees so that's their capacity push it all the way to 1000 rupees that is their whole capacity and with when you're communicating with that type of audience you cannot be pitching them a 1000 rupees for 5000 rupees of product 10000 rupees of product they generally don't have that so when you're talking about dealing with people we need to know what is how will they be able to afford what you're selling point number one mistake number one so when i said when i sold it for the first time first ever time in way back in 2021 april i did this mistake i kind of pitched 5000 rupees to, a, to an audience who did not have that they had money cool they were in a good financial stability but they this what i was selling them was not a priority for them so bomb then I had to tweak it and kind of bring the prices down for that audience so that I can make money out of them. Did that successful. The same price, the 5,000 that I wanted to pitch them, I pitched it to a different category of people. They, without even hesitation, they, they got sold. So we need to be doing the financial affordability status of them so that we can we can be more confident. It's like, okay, I'm going to sell that. They're just going to say yes. So you, need to be, you need to be working in that level of authenticity and that level of confidence in a way. Point number two is going to be pushing too hard to sell. Uh, we do this all the time it's like see this product you need to buy this product you need to buy this product this is, going, this, this is the benefit that I'm going to this is how this is going to benefit you your life your, your relationships your friends your family your health we we go all in and start pushing them the thing is there's a very thin line we don't know I don't know it's thin line we're to cross we're not to cross but then the thin line is you should you can be aggressive but not annoying you you, you need to go all aggressive when you're selling because you never know which small trigger is going to work for them. But there's a very thin line. I don't know the thin line. We need to be testing it. We need to be doing more of cold selling to people so that we can establish a thin line for us. I have, I, I cannot, I cannot say what the thin line is for me as well. Because I don't know yet. I'm, I'm experiencing myself. So when you are selling them, you need to be pushing them hard. And you can easily sense, when, you can easily sense yourself and on their faces when you start to become annoying to them. And you can make a note of it. Okay, this is the line that I'm, this is the this is one line. If I say it to them, they are going to get annoyed. So next time when you're selling it, now you've made that person annoyed. So you cannot do anything about it. It's like it's all you. Then the next time you're going to sell something to someone, you make sure that you don't do that something that that person kind of felt you started annoying. Cool. Be all aggressive, but then don't annoy them to the point that when you the moment they sense you're pushing too hard to sell your product so that you can make money, they are not going to buy it from you. Point number one. Maybe they can buy from you, but they are not going to be loyal customers. Like, like the, whenever I speak to this guy, this guy is just always going to talk to me about selling and selling and selling and selling. When that happens, boom, you're done. The, the credibility goes down. Point number three is going to be making them uncomfortable. Again, this this is directly related to the second point where you can making you can you will always make them uncomfortable when there is money in your mind. See, I'm going to I've got a lot of context to what I'm saying, but you need to be. You should, Take everything what I'm saying in a, in a perspective. So this thought process I'm going to share. Uh, once I was coaching this one of the persons and she said, Fazil, if I start being desperate, people are going to sense that from you. 
people people are going to sense sense that from i see on the flip side when you start being desperate you start being being more now you are desperate of making money for because of a lot of reasons now when you start being desperate of making making money what is happening over here is you are being creative on selling a difficult situation brings a best out of you difficult situation is why you are desperate you are desperate and then you start being more creative so and when we talk about all these things make sure that you maintain a line and then don't not to make the people you are communicating with uncomfortable and that's why i think when you watch the previous video that i got for you six ways to bring the most authentic self i mean i think this this is going to be a similar video that i got over there i kind of made one point uh, being honest never lie never compare share the reliable problems and etc etc so you need to watch that so that i don't spoil the spoilers for you so it's not to make them uncomfortable point number four is going to be not being too transparent one of the things that i learned when i was selling a high ticket where i sold it for 10000 rupees and honest with you uh, and what I, i i what mistake that i did on that day was i did not i did not said them said her what are the features and benefits that you are going to get so i was not being transparent so that person has to ask me for the will i be getting this as like yes will i be getting this so i kind of started nodding not because i made that mistake where i kind of i did not i was not transparent enough i like though i made the pitch i not convert that person but then because maybe i did not con- because of i was not being transparent that day i was not even aware of it i said okay you're going to get this 1 2 3 4 5 calls as well i did not went in deep in what all what Exam, what more are you get, going to get? So, so I was not being transparent to them. For in customer's perspective, even if you forget things, you are not being transparent to them. So we need to be knowing exactly what we're selling and being very transparent with the price points, with the value they're getting, with the benefits, features they're getting. You don't hide anything. So like this is what the price is. This is what the services are. So like, be very honest with them. So that it's up to them to decide. And we'll use a lot of strat- tactical strategies for them to land into them. That was the wrapping of this video. Four mistakes that. Introverts make while selling online courses, so that can be the tagline. That is the tagline for this one video, and those are the mistakes that even I made. So, thank you so much for making this video me and you, me and thank you so much for making me the topic and the video part of your day. I'm going to see you in an another exciting video. I'm going to record something called ten step, ten step, ten step advanced checklist before launching Facebook advertisements and strategies. So the other day I made a launch. Uh, of my facebook advertisements are still running day 2 and i made a checklist so uh, it was it's an advanced checklist that i really want to share with you because it's definitely going to benefit you when you are on the advanced part of it so if you're new might not make a sense maybe for you even it will make sense anyways you check it out yourself cool thank you so much see you there